Today, we'll be talking about six features of our Electrical Bid Manager Plus that make it a worthy upgrade. We'll be focusing a little bit more on our customers that currently have Electrical Bid Manager Standard. And we offer three levels, Standard, Plus, and Pro. Plus is the most popular getting started point for many of our customers, but we have plenty of customers that start with Standard and upgrade to Plus and then to Pro over time, or maybe they just skip right to Pro depending on what their needs are. And if you're shopping for estimating software, this is also a good opportunity to kind of learn some of the ins and outs of the different versions of our software. Uh, this is a, a YouTube Live if you're joining us on YouTube and there's a chat on the right. If you're logged in, feel free to chat, ask questions. We'll get to them during the, the slide broadcast. And my name is Derek Delacuadri. I'm the president of Vision Infosoft and Brian Hoffelder, who's our estimating and training expert, joins us today and will be leading our broadcast today. So Brian, would you like to take it over? Thank you, Derek, and good morning, everybody. Uh, we're talking today about, like Derek said, about the advantages, the differences in, in going from the standard version to the plus. The number one difference, uh, probably far and above all the other things we're going to talk about today, is that the plus version includes a, an actual change order module. Um, so what that means is you can you can create a change order for any job that you've already created or bid or estimated, and then you link it to one or more change orders. So what it looks like in EBM is this. When you're on the list of jobs here, if you see this little plus sign over to the left, that means there's at least one change order linked to it. And again, you can have multiple change orders and, uh, and keep them in the system. You could even... Uh, mark them as accepted or pending or, or uh, what would be the word not accepted. Um, so all the change orders are linked. And the advantage of that is a couple things. First of all, the program remembers which jobs are linked to the, which change orders are linked to the master job. And the change orders are their own entity. And that's really important when you're doing a change order because you can use whatever price levels, whatever labor units you want, whatever markup you want. It doesn't have to be restricted to what you normally do on an estimate. So the idea is typically on a change order, you're going to use maybe the trade price, the higher price on the material. And on labor, you might use column three instead of column two or column one. And then it, you know, it doesn't affect what's in the, the original estimate. The change order has its own values and own entity. Um, the other thing, when you create a change order, it actually brings in the information from the existing job. So if you've got the work description, if you've got the customer name down here, if you've got the job address, anything that was on the original job is brought into the change order automatically. So again, that saves time and consistency with bringing in the information from the original job. Another major feature in the, in the uh, plus version that isn't in the standard version is what we call advanced substitution. Now that's a pretty comprehensive task one of the things that's good for is if you want to offer or they've asked you to do some value engineering on the job. Where that comes into play on EBM is in the audit trail. So you've already done the takeoff and you want to offer some options to give them some uh, other options for reducing the cost. And let's make sure we get... Okay, so in the audit trail, you can, you can go to... For example, any entry, like the wiring, is probably the most typical. And this job here, if we've taken off the, if we've taken off uh, conduit here, and we want to offer the option to substitute the conduit with MC cable, there'll be a button down here on the plus version and the pro, which isn't on the standard version, called advanced substitution. And these are the five types of advanced substitution. And the most common, again, is converting the conduit to cable, like changing it from EMT to MC cable. Uh, you could go the opposite direction if you wanted to offer them, you know, how, how much more it's going to cost to go from cable to conduit. You could also convert the type of cable. Maybe there's places in the job that you want to offer them a, a, a different 
type of MC cable, maybe change it to hospital grade, maybe change if you took it off this uh, luminary cable, you could change it to a different type of cable. You could even change it from uh, MC cable to Romex. You could just convert the type of cable. This fourth option really comes into play when maybe you've taken off your feeders in copper wire and you want to offer them a, an, a, an option to substitute with uh, aluminum, aluminum wire and it, it appropriately resizes the conduit when you do that. Um, another little option that just comes into play sometimes as an oversight, <clears throat> you may have taken the whole job off in set screw steel fittings and you need to, uh, and you need to change them to compression or vice versa, either way. That option lets you change out the entire job whether they're going back and changing each individual entry. It'll change out your EMT fittings from one grade of fittings to another. So that's advanced substitution. There's several things that happen in the audit trail that are uh, additional features in the, in the plus version. One is additional calculations. So this, let me show you here real quick. In the standard version, you don't have running totals down here. It just, it's, it's blank. But in the, the plus version, you can, you can see the running totals of the material and the running totals of the labor at any point you want. And the other thing, which is a pretty big deal, is the sorting. There is no sort option on the standard version. It only sorts it in the order that you entered it. So it's just entry one, two, three, four, five. In the plus version, you can tell it to sort by section. You can tell it to sort by phase, by breakdown. You can even tell it to uh, sort by um, go back to the entry order. So it gives you a lot more flexibility on the way you sort the job in the audit trail. So those are a couple of things in the audit trail. You have additional calculations which are shown. It, so there's more there's more data, there's more calculations in the audit trail. And then you have the option to to do some additional filtering that you don't have in the standard version. Another major advantage of the of the plus version versus the standard is you have an, a, unlimited breakouts in the job extension. So in this example here, for example, I can sort by sections, subtotal by the breakdown for the base bid versus the alternate. I can subtotal by the module. I can subtotal by the phase. In the standard version, you can only have two levels. In the, the plus version, you can have up to five different sub-levels of sorting. So again, that could be handy if you had a building A and a building B and you wanted to see all the branch circuits versus the lighting on each building. You can you can run reports like that that give you a lot of different varieties of ways to break down the job. Oops, okay, there we go. And this is just a little chart that breaks it down a little bit further <clears throat> or by feature. We already talked about the advanced substitution is a, a feature that's on the plus that isn't on the standard. The third option here, sorting the audit trail, again, is only on the plus, not on the standard. A little minor option is the, uh, we talked about displaying the material and labor totals. There's also an undo function in the plus and the pro, of course, that you won't see on the standard version. This little undo version uh, button down here is not on the standard. So if I make a change to this entry here, I'm gonna hit edit to source. I'm gonna change it to 1300 feet. And now the undo button is activated and I can undo that last change. Again, that option isn't available on the standard version. You'd have to delete the entry and re-enter it. Um, you can't undo it the way you can in the plus version. Okay. Another option with the plus version is uh, the low voltage database, which gives you a lot of the voice data video items. And then the demolition module, which I find is very handy because lots of jobs have demolition. You know, there may be a, a whole page or two devoted just to what you have to remove on the job uh, as part of the electrical contract. The demolition module is part of the plus version. And just one more. So with the plus version, again, not on the standard version, you can 
install on your if you get the network version you can install the plus version on your server and that allows everybody to not only share the same database <clears throat> but to also to have access to the same jobs so if i need to go in and look at somebody else's takeoff or vice versa everything will be server that applies to the database too so if you customize things you add things you customize your database you fine tune your labor units that's all on the server if you if you have the standard version you're going to have to have separate systems and then everybody would be you know on their own to modify and customize their database you have put it on a server with the network installation then everybody's going to be sharing the same data be on the same page as they say that also comes into play with the updating again if you put ebm plus on your server and you run the update <clears throat> Every workstation will be running with current pricing that has been updated by Epic. Whether it's two licenses or 20, everybody that's linked into the server will have current pricing. That's part of really just of sharing the database, but mm -hmm. the price updating part is nice because just it only has to be updated on the server. Nobody has to update their individual workstations. Yeah, no question. Everybody's using the same pricing for the most part. Right. I think that's about it, Derek. Were there any questions or? Um, no, not yet. But uh, I just wanted to mention that I chatted in a link to that comparison table that Brian shared earlier. It, it, there's a lot more to the comparison table on our website. So if you want to <coughs> look through that, and if you have any questions about items that are on it, you can always email us at sales at visionimplosoft.com or call your rep uh, or call us, call Vision, uh, and uh, we'll answer all your questions for you. Um, other, other than that, you know, we, we've been continuing to build out our YouTube channel, so be sure to subscribe so you get alerts when we're doing these live broadcasts and uh, posting new videos. Um, I don't think we're going to get any questions today. I think everything was pretty concise, but if you still, I see that there's people here. So if you have questions, um, give us a call. Uh, visit our website at visioninfosoft.com, and our phone number is there. And you could create a support case from our website, and our support team will get back to you with any questions. And we look forward to hearing from you. Anything else, Brian, about the I think that's it. standard Plus I think, and Pro? No, I think the contact information is on the next page. There it is. Oh, yes, there it is. Excellent. All right. All right. Well, thank you. Everybody have a thank good you, day. Brian. Thank you.